Hello everyone, today I am going to walk you through four essential steps that will help you pass the CPA exam regardless which CPA review course you are using, regardless which section you are studying for. In my opinion, if you follow those four steps, you'll be well prepared to sit for the exam and get a score of 75 or more. The four steps are learn, review, practice, retain. I'm gonna go through each step explaining the task you should focus on, the purpose of each step, and how each step will benefit the following step. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first step, which is the learn step. Before you can review something, the assumption is you have learned it. And this is what most CPA review courses would assume. So when did you learn the material for the CPA exam? Ideally, you did so in college. However, if you have forgotten what you have learned or did not grasp the material properly, or if your college courses did not cover those topics, this is where the learning step comes in. You can accomplish this step by using Farhat Lectures material. We're gonna teach you the material from scratch. We don't only offer lectures, we're gonna offer lectures, multiple choice, true, false, in some cases, exercises to help you learn the concept. Now, for illustration purposes, let's assume you are studying for FAR using the Becker CPA review course. Although I, I would use Becker as an example, I do have courses for other providers, such as Miles, Surgeon, Lime, and other sections as well, as you can see. Farhat material is organized just like your CPA review course. For example, if we go to F1, Module 1, Income Statement, Balance Sheet, Comprehensive Income, watch the lectures first. Start by watching the lectures. This will help you understand the concepts in depth. You learned it. Well, you learn it. Test yourself. Take the quiz. After the watching the lectures, here are the quizzes. Take the quizzes provided. They are designed to test your knowledge. To make sure you did learn what you did learn. You effectively learned the material that I think you should learn. And when you take the quiz, for example, this is there are 12 questions in this quiz. As you answer each question, you can immediately check your answer to ensure it makes sense before you proceed. If you encounter any questions or concepts that you, do, you did not understand, you can ask for clarification using the feedback mechanism that we provide. For example, if you don't understand question one, you can leave a comment or ask further explanation and support will be provided. If you don't understand something on the video, put the time frame and send us an inquiry. Use all your resources, lectures, multiple choice, true, false. Once you have completed F1 module one, now you learn the material. Step one is done. We move to step two, which is the review step. Let's take a look at the review step. Now we are ready to move to the review step. In this step, you will go back to your chosen CPA review course, whether it's Becker, Surgeon, Miles, or whatever. You have a few options how to approach your review course at this point. You can watch the lectures, either on a speed mode, like 1.5, 1.75, or you could read your notes. Many students ask me, what should I do? It's your call. If you want to read the notes or read the book, that's much more efficient but sometime some listening to the lecture would reinforce what you have done. If you can do both, that's even better. And how do you know whether step one did really work for you, the learning step? At this point, as you are going through the material, as you are listening to the lectures, or as you are reading the textbook, ask yourself, does this make sense? And if the answer is yes, if you understand the material, then step one did work. If you find yourself saying or thinking, this is easy, I understand it. Now it makes sense. If that's the case, you're on the right track. Step one did work, now we're going through step two. Once you have completed step two, we are ready to move on to step three. Step three is practice. This is where you really put yourself the test to reinforce, to test whether step one and step two did work for you. Here you tackle the multiple choice question. You can start with my comprehensive test. I do have comprehensive tests for each section. You can do those if you did not complete them during the learning step. 
And of course, you want to complete your own chosen MCQs and simulations. At this point, you want to aim to be scoring in the area of 80%. Why 80%? 80% is a good indication that you have a good understanding of the topic. It's not only 80%. You want to make sure you understand why you missed the 20%. The 20% are more important. This is where the risk lies in the 20%, the material that you missed. Don't move on until you understand why you got each question incorrectly. Investigate thoroughly. Why? Did I misread the question? Did I misread the answer choices? Did my Becker or Miles or my CPA review course failed me? That far had failed me. You have to go back and investigate why I did not get it, especially if you read the solution and you still don't get it. That's really a red flag. So you have to investigate thoroughly. Consider each question you missed is the question that's going to get you 75 on the exam. So you have to investigate each question. We learned, we reviewed, we practice. Now we are ready to move on to step four, which is the retention or the retain step. After completing step one, two, and three, we get to step four, which is the retain or the retention step. This is my favorite step. What you should do as you're going through the first, second, and third step, make sure to be taking notes, questions you have missed, important concepts. These notes are crucial for reinforcing your understanding. What you do now is you are going to record those notes as voice notes on your phone whether you have an iPhone or an Android. And this method is going to allow you to listen to your notes while you're on the move, on the go. When I was studying, I recorded everything on a cassette tape. You can listen to it driving your car, walking in the park, at the gym, running errands, buying food at the supermarket. It's pretty flexible. You have no downtime. Sometimes you're going to be busy. You're going to be tired. Just listen to the notes, the notes so you can retain all the information. Sometimes you might have to travel for work a couple days or a couple weeks. Listen to the notes on the plane, on the train. So this way you're not disconnected from the material and you are not demoralized. So if you follow those four steps, you should be good to go. Now I'm going to go over a few pitfalls that makes students very, very frustrated and Kind of basically they create obstacles for themselves the first one is some students start at step two review step yes some people can start at step two if you graduated yesterday you did well in college and you remember everything so the learning part is done you can start with the review the second group which is the most problematic in my opinion is they start at step three they use the multiple choice questions to learn and this is the most problematic, in my opinion, the most flawed approach you can, you can have, in my opinion, anyway. And I know some providers, they encourage this. I don't. I don't encourage this at all. Multiple choice questions are to test your knowledge, not to help you learn the material. You learn the material, then you test your knowledge. The multiple choice questions are most effective when you take them the first time. So if you use them up in the learning process, how are you going to test your knowledge? So don't utilize this strategy. What am I gonna, what am I gonna say at the end is this. I'm always here for you. If you're not a member of Farhat Lectures, give us a try. We have thousands of multiple choice questions, including AI CPA questions, lectures, resources, how to solve simulations. We provide a two day free trial where you can try the material. It's the right product for you you sign up. If not, that's fine. You could reach out for any questions you have about the product before you sign up to make sure we're all on the same page. Invest in yourself. Good luck and stay safe. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Our financial accounting course is best for online students and students who are struggling in their financial accounting courses. We cover all the essentials from debits and credits, adjusting entries, closing entries, financial statements, and all balance sheet accounts. 
Our comprehensive course include lectures, multiple choice, true false, as well as practical exercises. Start your free trial today to help you pass your financial accounting course. Your success starts here.